imagine you're walking through Maine. Maine is a, a place in the USA and is also home to many wonderful stories from Stephen King, even Pennywise, because who doesn't like Pennywise the clown, right? Now there is another wonderful creation that's come out of Maine, Smith's All Natural. Smith's All Natural is, well, it's a, a natural brand that made its reputation, its brand on leather balm. Seriously, I saw this stuff everywhere in, and I'm not one of those Red Wing heritage kind of guys, not least, yeah, anyway, they're, they're fairly expensive and I'm fairly stingy. But I follow a lot of accounts on Instagram that were absolutely raving about this stuff, this leather balm, and I'm quite into like my, my leather everyday carries. And I use a guy, David in the UK, somewhere only we know is his company, who makes some of the most wonderful, beautiful, delicate, uh, handmade leather goods that just makes my EDC look, I think, fucking awesome. So I had a need for some leather bar and I started speaking to the guys and do you know what? They told me they're bringing out a beard balm. Would I like to try some out? I was like, damn, yes. Yes, I do want to try some of the beard balm. They sent me two tins of beard balm. These are massive tins. I've been using this product a lot. Like it's probably become my go-to product. For me, Smith's All Natural is the very best. It's the very best beard product I have ever tried in my entire life. It's just superior. And the reason it's superior is because, to me at least, it looks like they make absolutely no compromises in the quality of their product. When I was seeing the, the raving reviews, the Instagram love in people's Instagram stories of the Smith's leather balm, it was because the leather balm literally brought back old battered leather bound shoes and made them look brand new. Like, I mean, some of the hardest worn shoes go in it made them look like and instantly made them look like a new pair of shoes it, it was absolutely incredible they actually realized or and started getting feedback that people were putting this stuff on their beard but it's quite a firm balm the smith's beard balm is very soft it's easy to scoop out of the tin requires no effort melts down in seconds and it just smells like the most beautiful dark chocolate I mean, it smells so good. My two-year-old absolutely loves the smell of it. Jumps up and down, screams out chocolate. And I kind of have that reaction too. I'm like a two-year-old with this. I'm just jumping up and down, celebrating the beautiful smell of chocolate as I massage it into my hairy, follicled face. It's just beautiful. And it's a product that is made up of very simple ingredients as well. So within this tin, there's just three ingredients. You've got organic cocoa butter, beeswax, and pure sweet almond oil. No BS scents, so no fragrance oils, no essential oils added to it. It just smells like proper chocolate because of the purity and the finest cocoa butter that they use in this product. I mean, in terms of how it makes my beard feel, I'm, I'm rocking a shorter beard these days. I kind of think with a shorter beard, they always feel a little bit rougher because the, the hair as you grow out a big ass long beard becomes a little bit more supple, a little bit more, more I, I'd almost say it becomes easier to some extent to work with. But when you've got a, a short beard, your beard is just like, the hair is just like out like this. It's like a porcupine. I think porcupines have massive spikes, right? Like a hedgehog. Let's, let's say it's like a hedgehog. If you don't know what a hedgehog is, well, I can't help you, everyone on this channel. When you rub this balm in, it kind of dissolves like beard butter because it melts down so quickly. Typically with beeswax based product, it takes a little bit of effort to actually work it into the skin, but this stuff melts down instantly. It's left my beard feeling simply the best it's ever felt. I've, I've kind of been toying with the idea of growing it out just to try this product on a really long beard and I'm, I've not quite convinced myself to do that yet. One area that I like to focus on is the mustache. The mustache for me is like one of my key focuses of uh, having a short beard and the mustache can be quite hard to keep soft. It can feel quite firm and hard and I'm not gonna say brittle but it's just a bit, it gets a bit bushy yeah and it gets, it needs a bit of love and I can just get a little bit on my fingertips and just run it through the mustache. And to me at least I've seen a very noticeable improvement on any other product that I've used today and I've used hundreds of beard products over the last few years. So for me, this, this company, they're making such wonderful products. They're based in the US, they ship all over the world. They're, they're a company that I recommend to you more than any other company I have 
ever recommended on this channel because this beard balm is seriously good. It's seriously high quality. You get so much in it. I mean, I don't know ounces or anything because I mean, I'm in the UK, three and a half ounces. Like I work off grams. I, I, I don't know how much that is. It's a big old tin. Like here's my iPhone, my iPhone 11. That's the tin of beard balm. Like it's a fairly good size tin. So check them out. Let me know what you think of them in the comments below. And whilst I have your attention here, you should definitely check out this video. If you've not seen this video, it's of this crazy beard transformation that I had over one year when I was doing something called a year, which is where you grow your beard out for a year without taking any of the length off. Just check it out, let me know your thoughts, let me know if I should try and grow that beard back at some point. Maybe, I might be tempted to at some point, who knows? See you on the next one, go watch that video, let me know your thoughts, bye.